Hi everybody and welcome to Uprising. Today we're going to be talking about hydrogen and how it affects athletes and how it can improve athletic performance. So the first let me start off by saying that a lot of people have been asking me for references and wondering where I'm getting all this information. The reason I don't post references is because I, I read so much information that I don't go back and try to keep track of it all. I just give you the data and it's primarily coming from Japan. They're the ones that are leading the way in hydrogen. And so all this information is coming from there. If you really want references for those people who've been asking me for them, go find them, go look for them, learn Japanese. I don't know what you have to do, but go do what you have to do. I'm just here to bring the information. So let's go ahead and get started. So it already has been proven in Japan that hydrogen ha actually improves performance dramatically when it comes to athletics. They actually had a, some, a scientific test where they show that it improved performance 100% of the time. That's a really big deal when it comes to scientific terms. Now it's important to also understand what kind of hydrogen or what levels of hydrogen we're talking about. There's some really new data in Japan showing that it's almost pointless when you start getting into 4 ppm, 5 ppm, 7 ppm, you know, levels of hydrogen because we only have so many receptors that can utilize the hydrogen. And so they found that the magic number is basically 1.0 and a little bit above that 1.2, 1.5, 1.6. And obviously the way you make the hydrogen is very important. They're finding that it's kind of unhealthy to do it in other ways, like hydrogen sticks really bad for you. I'll make some videos about the data on that that's also coming from Japan. It's, it's kind of the latest stuff and that's why I'm really happy so far with the Lourdes because it's actually come out on top again it has been shown that it is the most effective and safest way for the long term I'm all about the long term but let's really go back to talking about um, the athletic part of it so just to name a few of the athletes that are using this technology because in Japan um, just about every single professional athlete is using, using this technology. Ichiro Suzuki is using it. Uh, there is a guy by the name of Ryo Ichigawa, I believe that's his name. He's a professional golfer. And the whole Giants organization, it's a, it's a baseball team in Japan. They're also utilizing uh, hydrogen for athletics because it, it not only does it improve absorption of nutrition, minerals, vitamins, and it, you know makes your body more efficient, but it accelerates recovery time. It helps with you know prevent injuries, and it, and it makes you perform better because it gives you greater endurance because you're releasing that lactic acid when you're doing you know uh, strenuous activity and hydrogen helps neutralize that. So it's already obviously been proven and it's obviously one of the one of the funnier things that I saw recently was the 400 meter relay. I was actually watching it because I wanted to watch how America did against Jamaica and they're the best sprinters in the world. Now some of the worst sprinters in the world is are actually the Japanese. Now what I myself hadn't even noticed and probably a lot of people didn't is who came in third place. And I didn't notice till I watched it about the third time and it was the Japanese. They were right behind Jamaica and I thought that's incredible. That's that's unheard of. Their bodies are definitely not designed to be sprinters and even then they came in third. So I started wondering to myself, I wonder if hydrogen had anything to do with that. And uh, maybe it did, maybe it didn't, I don't know, but they're certainly utilizing it a lot in Japan and they're the leaders you know, um, in the technology. One other little tidbit, obviously it helps against cramping, you know, which was always a problem for me in athletics and hydrogen helps a ton with that. And I've actually improved a ton when it comes to cramping. I don't get nearly as many cramps. I mean, almost unheard of these days. Um, let me see, I have a list here. I also wanted to mention, yeah, hydrogen appears to be um, basically food or energy for your cells, especially the mitochondria. So that's obviously another really important factor when it comes to athletics. And that's about all the little notes I took here. I think the important part is to know what levels of hydrogen, because I know I've been talking here, but I don't always mention the proper levels that one should have. So there's like other machines. I've had a lot of people contacting me and want me to promote their machine or promote their website. And the thing is, I just won't do it because I know they're like into all these selling things and, and they want to make money off this. The problem is that the products they want me to promote don't appear to really be the best products. And so after, a, you know, I'll do a video in the future about it, talking about what the best machines are. So far, it's the Lourdes. It really is the best machine. I haven't found anything better out there. And I'll explain why, you know, in a future video. But for right now, if you like the video, again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, take care.